What's going on guys? I've needed to make this video for a while now. It sounds like an intro to an apology video, but I'm really just going to show you how to use the pen tool really easily. A lot of you guys don't know how to use it and that's fine because I'm going to show you guys how to use it right now. Hopefully you understand it. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it to the best of my abilities. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go over to our pen tool on the left side. And if you right click on it, you can, oh my God, my phone's going off. If you right click, you can see pen tool and free pen. I've never used free pen, so I'm not gonna teach you something I don't know. So let's go to pen for now. Up here, you can see all the options for it. You can see shape and path, which I always just leave it on shape. You can see the fill. This is what color it's going to fill in with when you start to draw your stuff. And you can change it later on. So if we make a triangle, you can go up to your fill and change it anyways, even though you already made it. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You can even add a stroke to it by going up to the stroke. The X means it's going to be transparent, so it's not going to be a thing. So if I do that to fill, it's just going to be gone. So let's add a stroke. We can choose red. If you click in this box, you can change it to any color you want, or you can use the preset colors here. This is how big the stroke is going to be. So you can turn it up. And here is if you're going to make it a dotted line or dashes and you can even like round the corners of them and all that so that's pretty cool to know in terms of making shapes and stuff so if you're like outlining an image let me get an example real quick we're going to be using this guy as the example so if you go down here to your zoom tool you can hold left click and drag right to zoom in or drag left to zoom out so we're going to zoom in on his face and let's go to our pen tool for this, we're going to be using shape so we can draw a shape around his eyebrow so you can make it like a cartoon. It'll make it a solid shape, but if you're just trying to cut something out, then you want to use path. So we're going to use shape, change the fill to anything for now, and we're just going to start at a random point. Click once to start your point. Click again. Okay, for some reason, that point messed up. Let's try that again. So you can see we're making the eyebrow. You want to hold left click to make a curve. So let's drag that out to make an eyebrow. Yeah, so we made the eyebrow looking kind of wacky, but it's okay. And then we'll just match it to the color of his hair. So just click that fill box and click on his hair and it'll match the color. So you can see if we hide it, you got an eyebrow. And you could just do that with all the features to make yourself look like a cartoon. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Just to reiterate it, if you go to your pen tool and you just click, it'll make straight lines. But if you click and drag left click, it'll curve it. So let's move on to how to cut out an image. So for this first image, we're gonna be cutting out this dog. So go to your pen tool. This time change it to path instead of shape. We don't wanna do shape because we're not making a shape. We want path because we're just gonna make a selection and then duplicate it. So make a path, change your fill to transparent. Zoom in anywhere to start. So I'm just gonna start right here. Click on your pen tool and just click wherever you want to start and you can begin. So I'm just going to make a straight line there to outline that little piece of hair there. And then I'm mainly going to hold left click and drag my mouse just to make it rounded because it's more natural. So let's just cut off most of this. Hold left click. It's okay, you don't have to get all of the fur in there because it's actually going to mess it up if you show too much because it'll be the color of the background, if that makes any sense, because, you know, hair see-through, so it would just show, like, that dark greenish color. So, yeah, I'm just going to hold left click to drag to make the rounded points. And I'm just going to do that around the whole thing. Control Z is how you undo. So keep that in mind if you mess up, which I do all the time. Now you can get some hair strands if you really want to take your time with it, but it kind of messes me up a lot of the time, so I'm just going to ignore it. And now let's go back to our zoom tool and readjust. Okay. Now we can just start to outline it. I like to drag every single point because it looks more natural compared to just doing straight lines all the way through. As you can see, it's already taking shape pretty well. Now let's go back to our pen tool and keep doing it. It 
it's okay if you want to be kind of sloppy with it as long as it doesn't look bad in the end which is kind of hard to tell until you're finished so it's kind of a slap in the face once it looks awful after spending a lot of time on it so just make sure you're doing okay and we're just gonna skip through all of this um we're getting close let's zoom in right here We could say screw the hair, which I'm going to do for this because it's annoying to deal with. Almost cut off his ear or whatever that is. Okay. All right. So we're back at the start. Click on the starting point now and you'll connect it. Now right click anywhere inside the selection. Click make a selection. Click OK. And you'll see now it is outlined. So all you're going to want to do is make sure you have your pencil selected and hit control J. Now you can see if we hide the background layer, we have our dog, which it doesn't look too great, but it's not bad. You can even add a stroke to it and make it like a sticker or something. And it will look pretty good. So I mean, it's up to you what you want to do with it, but it's not bad considering I rushed through that. Now, before I move on to the next, you can see the outline here and here's something you can do. If you click your pen tool and you want to remove one of these points, you can just click on it and it will remove it. So now it looks a little bit better, more natural in some areas. Well, that does not look natural, but some areas it does look good. And you can kind of click them to remove the points if you want like that. So you get the idea. It's kind of cool. Now, before I start on example number two, there is a pretty important thing that I encountered. So basically, if you tried to make another selection, so say there was like a hole somewhere, like his tail was a little farther this way and it was like a little gap. So say you wanted to select that, it selects this area back again. So you cannot just cut out that area. It'll select all of it and mess up. So how you do this, how you remove that is you go to window, paths, or you could go here to paths. And you can see there's this path already. So just drag that to the trash can and it will remove that path so you can make a new path. So now if we tried it, it works like a charm. So now we could remove it and yeah. So just keep that in mind. I ran into that and it took me like 30 minutes to figure out what I was supposed to do. And I figured it out on my own. So let's move on to example number two. So I'm going to use this guy as the example. So the reason I chose this is because there's a little gap here and I'm going to show you guys how you can remove that because I run into this a lot and you might not know how to do it. So we're going to start here, get our pen tool, make sure your fill is transparent and your stroke is transparent. Make sure you're on path. Uh, yeah, path. Make sure you're on path and not shape. Now left click and you can start. So just start to make your outline. Hold left click to do the curves. As you can see, it's okay if you cut some of it off. It's better than leaving some of the background in it. So let's just outline that. It's better to make like short distant points because if you make a long point, I'll show you what happens. Let me get up here. So if you do like that and then you try curving it, it's going to leave this little hump right here and it's going to be kind of annoying. So just do small distance points, which means make them close together and just take your time with it as I'm rushing through it. <laughs> You'll probably end up making a lot of points if you add a lot of curves because each time you do a curve, it adds a new point. For the hair, we're going to say screw those hairs sticking out. Okay. Now we should readjust our zoom. It's kind of throwing me off. Let's undo that. Go back to the pen tool. This is a lot easier than the last one because you don't have to deal with a bunch of fur. 
Make sure to use Control Z a lot. Don't settle for crap. Make sure it looks pretty decent. Now this is where straight lines come into play because you can just go straight down that, which is nice. So now we got to continue doing what we were doing though. We're getting closer. This one's taking a bit more time because there's a lot going on. Now I recommend taking more time with this than I am, but I'm just trying to get my point across on what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's zoom out. Zoom back in down here. Go back to my pen tool. And we can connect back to the start. Zoom out. I have a feeling this is going to look pretty rough. And uh, get your pen tool, right click, make a selection, hit OK. Click Control J and boom, there we go. That actually looks really good. Okay, so now we're done, but we still need to cut this part out right here, this little gap. But this whole area is selected, so we can't make a new path without it messing up. So go to paths over here, and you'll see there's a path right here of the outline. Just drag that to the trash can. And now try making your path around this gap. So I'm just gonna hurry up and do this real quick so you guys can get the idea. Connect back to the start, make a selection, delete it, and there you go. So now we are done, and that's all you have to do. I hope this helped you guys. It was actually so much of a pain to make because I was running into issues. I didn't hit record, and it was just, it was awful. But I do hope this helps you guys because that's all that matters. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.